Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Juan Acuna. Welcome back everyone and a very good Wednesday afternoon to you. We're going to go ahead and start off with our Aztec Chevrolet 6 weather bug. This is a live look over in Beeville where we have clear skies, pretty light winds out of the north northeast checking in at only 5 miles an hour with temperatures into the middle 90s. And as we look at our Nissan Automotive out in Kingsville, this is a live look there. You can see traffic is flowing smoothly along Highway 77, but it's hotter there. 97 degrees, a bit more wind as well, east northeasterly at 14 miles per hour. And as we look at the water temperature, it has cooled down a little bit, but holding steady out at Packery Channel of 84 degrees. We're holding on to 92. In fact, that's a pretty popular number across the region with 97 from George West all the way down into Heavenville. So it is seasonably hot, not overly hot, especially what we started off the week with those record breaking temperatures. So this is a somewhat in a pretty good scenario for us here, but still seasonal. As we look at easterly winds checking in around 10 to 15 miles an hour across the coastal bend, we have some drier air that has started to filter in. So that's why heat indices aren't quite as bad. I'll show you those in just a second, but these dew point numbers were pretty close into the uh, lower 80s and upper 70s. Right now we're at 68, 72 out at the Naval Air Station, and that's a 12 degree drop here in Corpus Christi compared to yesterday, an 18 degree drop in Ingleside. So definitely you can feel that the uh, humidity has dropped. And usually these heat indices at this time of day are around 110, 115, 16 and 17 degrees. And most of us are out of the triple digits with the exception of George West and Falfurias. But still, no matter how you look at it, if you're doing outdoor activities, stay hydrated. Look for the, uh, so I should say, the shaded spots to stay cool out there. The evening forecast for tonight looks pretty nice. If you are going to be headed out, temperatures will be falling into the lower 80s with southeasterly winds around 6 to 12 miles an hour. In fact, we'll look at pretty calm winds in the morning. That will allow another round of some uh, fog to form for our inland areas, so use caution. Again, we have just a couple of clouds moving through. I wish I could tell you that this rainfall was going to be spreading off in our region, but unfortunately with drier air filtering up to the north, it's just not headed in our general direction as we continue to hold on to some moisture off from the Gulf of Mexico. This frontal boundary is going to ensure that all this moisture that's off in the northern Gulf is going to stay over into the southeast, and that's where they're dealing with still lots of flooding going along in the middle Atlantic states, pushing off to the northeast as well. The next great opportunity for us to see some rainfall here, believe it or not, is going to be these frontal boundaries. They're going to make a run down to the south, and as they do so, they're going to stall in central Texas once again, and that's not going to happen until about Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, but they're going to present us an opportunity for some isolated rainfall here in the coastal bend. And why only isolated and why not a better chance? Because high pressure is still close by. Even though it's moving off to the west just a little bit, it's not sitting right on top of the Lone Star State. So it's still hot. We're still under the influence of it, but the uh, higher temperatures are way over here in the desert southwest where Las Vegas is checking in at 112. Again, we're at 92 here, but 60 is off in San Francisco. That has to be pretty nice for them. 80 is up to the uh, north and look at International Falls checking in at 50. And of course, the eastern half of the United States is rain cooled with temperatures in the 70s and 80s, respectively, there. But coming back home for us here tonight, it's going to be mainly quiet out there. We'll look at mainly clear skies again, with the exception of some fog out there. But by tomorrow afternoon, still looking at mainly sunny skies. As we go on into Friday, though, we pick up a little bit of moisture off of the Gulf of Mexico, a little slug of moisture, and we could see a stray shower or two. Uh, at best as we go into late Friday and on into Saturday. Our NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast 73.95 tomorrow. Summary over Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Look, we should be averaging 94, so pretty much averaging the average high for this time of year. A stray shower. Next opportunity for some rain. Lee and Priscilla will be on Tuesday and Wednesday.